Hey everyone, John Sahmed from simpleprogrammer.com. I'm doing another one of these uh, iPad mini videos, although I'll probably be doing the next video uh, from my Surface, at least the next not super high quality one since I just got a, a Surface Pro 3 and, uh, and that, that, but that probably will work out well for video, but I, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe iPad is, is still the easiest option. But uh, I wanted to answer a question or address something. Uh, I did a video on basically what my financial thoughts were, my basic financial strategy, and I talked about real estate investment. And, uh, and I got a, a response about how um, basically uh, on real estate investment uh, that it would be a mistake in the United States and unloading properties before interest rates go up and uh, overvalued housing corrects would make sense. So, uh, and, and basically um, saying that, you know, a lot of people think American real estate will go up forever and that the economic, American economic future is bright. So that, that's kind of interesting. Like, um, you know, the way I would, I would, or what I have to say about that, the way I would address this is that I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I don't know necessarily that interest rates are gonna go up. I mean, inevitably they eventually will. Uh, will that cause a, a crash in prices? It, it, it perhaps will, it may not, uh, but, but historically as interest rates go up, obviously prices go down, but does that matter? So, so here's the thing is like, we can't predict the future, we can't predict when things are going to occur. So sometimes it's better to, to have a plan that doesn't matter what happens in the future, right? So that's that's always been my strategy with the real estate investment. I, I talked about how I had invested in real estate and I had I bought my properties on 30 year fixed loans. Now, the reason why I did that was because I knew that if I've got a 30 year fixed loan on a property, that means that the interest rate doesn't change, right? Then if interest rates go up or down, prices go up or down, it doesn't matter because if I'm getting enough rent to basically pay for that uh, for that property, to pay the mortgage on it, taxes, insurance, whatever else there is, and, and have some money left over, that situation isn't going to change for 30 years. You know, if anything, rents are going to go up. They're they're not going to likely go down, and my mortgage payment is going to stay the same. So the majority of my of everything is fixed there. And so it doesn't really matter, you know, in fact, that's what it, it, I actually had the real estate market go against me, right? Because I invested early on uh, starting in 2000, right? And then I hit that big crash, that real estate crash, and I was holding a lot of properties, but it didn't matter that uh, a fourplex that I bought for $425,000 was now worth $200,000. Big deal. As long as I'm hanging on to it and it's still bringing in the rent, which of course at that time, the, rent, the rental market wasn't hit. Uh, just because the housing market was hit, uh, people still need a place to live. That market is is unlikely to to be as affected. But basically, what ended up happening was that uh, it didn't it didn't really matter. I was able to go through it because I was in this for the long term, and that's kind of the thing. You know, my thinking, my philosophy behind it is that you you look at this for the long term picture. So yes, you know. Um, it may be true that uh, if you invest in real estate now in the United States, that you may be in the near future going to hit a time when interest rates go up and the housing corrects. So the prices drop down. That may happen. We don't know where that is, though. That might happen three or four years from now. In that, in that time, you may have prices increasing. You might have a, another real estate boom going on. I mean, right now, prices are, are going up. Uh, so we never know where that peak is and uh, and trying to predict that it really is the difference between being a real estate investor and a speculator so if you speculate on on real estate investment uh, that means that you're trying to predict the direction that it's going to go if you invest in in my opinion investment is i don't care what direction it goes i'm going to make a solid investment that's going to work no matter what so that's why i would say yeah, now is still a, a pretty good time to invest in real estate. Uh, in fact, there's not really, if, if you go by my philosophy, there's not really a good time or a bad time. There's better times for sure when prices are low and you can pick up things for, for cheap, but, uh, but it doesn't matter because if you go and you look for, you know, your criteria is that you're going to find investments that 
the basically the the rent that you're going to get is going to cover the mortgage and your expenses and you're in this for the long haul maybe maybe as long as 30 years if if things don't go great right that you might have to hold this property for 30 years until it's finally paid off fine right if you have that kind of mindset then it doesn't matter right you then then what you the one thing that you don't want to do is waste time because time is the thing that's going to eventually make you rich that's going to earn you a lot of money is that you have a renter paying your mortgage for a long period of time so uh so yeah so that's my my thinking on that uh if you have any questions about that uh, you know let me know put a send, send a comment down below or 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 send me an email and i and i'll try to address it but, uh, but I just wanted to cover that topic. You know, I'll probably go into more of the strategy and whatnot in, in some some other videos. But basically, you know, just to summarize, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with the market. It's a pretty good prediction that uh, interest rates are going to go up and and that prices may eventually go down. But we don't know when that's going to happen. And even if we did, uh, or even if we had a really good idea, um, I would still invest now. In, in, as long as it's a smart investment now. If you can find a rental property where you are able to, you know, depending on how much you put down, but get into a situation where it has a positive cash flow, where the, where the rents pay everything for the property, or even if it's you know pretty close to break even, that's a good investment. And over time, that's gonna pay off for you. At the very worst case, in 30 years, you're gonna have the entire property paid off. You're gonna collect those rents uh, completely free and clear. So that's that's my thinking on that. Um, don't forget to check out uh, simpleprogrammer.com uh, and uh, and subscribe to this channel if you if you like these videos. And uh, I, I should have, depending on when this one goes out, there should be a, a, one of the pre-recorded high quality ones coming out. I'm still experimenting with some things here, but uh, but yeah, I thought I'd address this uh, this question uh, via video.